Hi again, this is Pastor Jeff from Community Covenant Church with a few minutes of encouragement from God's Word on this Tuesday. Today we are looking at a verse in the Gospel of John, chapter 12, verse 26. And Jesus is speaking here, and he says, Anyone who wants to serve me must follow me, because my servants must be where I am, and the Father will honor anyone who serves me. So this makes me ask the question, is it possible to serve God effectively without following Jesus closely? Is it possible to do good things for Jesus without Jesus? I mean, that's a good question because I know a lot of people who do very good things, things that God would be pleased about, things that um, other people admire and look up to. But are they effectively serving God? Are they effectively serving Jesus if they are not personally following him? Jesus says, my servants must be where I am. You can't be a Christian who is not closely following Jesus. It just doesn't work. Because here's the thing. We try to do things in our own strength. And there's a certain amount of ego that plays into our lives as human beings. We think um, we know what the answer is. We know what the best is. And we think that we can put our own efforts forward and we can make it. And I will admit there are times when it's possible to do something good just in your own strength. But is it something that you can keep doing? Is it something that is as effective and as good as it could be when we do it just in our own strength? I think the answer to both of those is no. The only way we can truly be honoring God truly being accomplishing God's purposes in this world and serving God and reaching out in his name is when we are personally seeking after Jesus in our own personal life. So the challenge for all of us is to, first of all, just ask ourselves, am I following Jesus? Am I close to him and and doing everything that I can to get closer, to listen to him more, to understand, and um, then be able to follow his directions and guidance in my life. You know, the blessing of being a Christian is that God lives within us in the form of the Holy Spirit. So in, in many ways, God is there, whether we're acknowledging him or not. But the key is, are we acknowledging him? Are we allowing him to lead us? Are we following his guidance? And seeking to do everything for him in his strength and for his purposes. Because when we do, who knows what God's going to be able to accomplish way beyond what we could do on our own. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for your presence with us. And thank you that when we follow you as you invite us to, we can then be serving you in your strength. It's not about how good we are how skilled we are, how much energy we have for accomplishing something. It's we are seeking after you. We are allowing you to lead us. And as we get your instructions, we move out in your power and your strength to be the means by which you want to change the world by changing other people's lives one day, one day, one moment, one item at a time. So, Lord, help us to follow you more closely. Help us to devote ourselves more closely to being your people and and then being your servant because we are listening to you. We are close to you and allowing you to work in us. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. So, once again, John 12, 26. Anyone who wants to serve me must follow me because my servants must be where I am. And the Father will honor anyone who serves me. I hope that all of us experience God's honoring us because we're serving him. God bless you. Have a great day.